I didn't see you there. Um, I don't know what I have to say now. I've done this like several times and I don't know how to make a YouTube video very well. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to be making some illustrated dinosaurs, um, the princesses that I've been making and I've been posting on Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and Imgur, Imgur, I don't know how to say that. And so I just want to show you guys how to do that. Like if you're sitting at home and you're like, no, oh, it's really great, I'd like to try that at home. And then you can try it at home because you know, unless you don't have Photoshop. It doesn't matter though, you can do it on, on paper. Anyway, so this is how you do it. Um, let's go ahead and st open up Photoshop. Uh, here's Photoshop right here. Um, and when you are getting on Photoshop, you're going to open up a new document. So let's open up a new one. And we're on the preset of Raptors, so let's just call this Practice um, Raptors. Well, that's Prac Rap. Um, Okay, that's fine. Crack crap. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So we're going to start off with a regular. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, let me zoom in. I like to move it around a little bit, and so this has this problem. Okay, we're going to start off with a lighter color. Um, and this is going to be. Oh, that's a great color. I love that color. We're going to start off um, on this new, on this layer. Um, this is the background layer. Um, on this layer, you're not going to be drawing any um, dark lines. You're just going to draw the basics. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to start off with a circle for the head. And now I know you might be thinking, you're like, oh wait, Laura, but this is really um, like really light. Uh, why are you drawing your raptor so light? Well, that's because this is just the under layer. So let's go ahead and um, and you know, continue. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna draw a rectangular looking, I mean a triangular uh, object, like a triangle like this, okay? Um, and we're going to draw the neck kind of like a chicken or like a gobbly gobbly turkey thing, okay? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay, um, so this will have the basic shape of the raptor. Um, and uh, I guess we'll just put in the tail now, okay? All right, so here's how you draw the, the tail, going up like this, okay? You shouldn't spend a lot of time on this, but you know, just basics. And remember from the movies that they're basically like, they've got these beak things, you know, because they're raptors and they're birds primarily. Um, by the way, I'm using a bamboo tablet. Um, you can find them at like any computer store, like I guess, um, uh, Best Buy or Staples if you know either of those things are still alive in America. I don't know. I'm, I'm in China by the way um, Anyway, okay, here we go. We're gonna draw the leg muscle now now uh, the difference between a raptor and like a horse Well, there's many differences, but uh, like a horse's leg will go like this. So if you're used to drawing unicorns um, then you can Because like, I'm used to drawing unicorns too <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so like if you draw a unicorn's leg, that I go to go back like that. But we're not going to do that with a raptor. A raptor, his leg is like here is the knee right there. That's the knee, and so he is um, like up on his. You know, there's his calf, mus calf muscle, and then he is up on his tippy toes um, as a as a raptor. So you're going to draw this like triangular kind of shape here, and we got his like sharp. Pointy. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a girl raptor, by the way, because she's going to be a princess. Um, I mean, unless you're, you're like, you know, want your boy to be a princess, and that's fine too. Um, anyway, and then you've got, you know, the other leg right back here. That's a little weird right there. We'll just pop it back over here. And there's his other toe. Um, and you're just filling in, you know, these you know, these places. And you can always come back and fix things, okay? Your raptor looks a little like this right now. Um, that's because he doesn't have any arms. Well, he's not a T-Rex and he needs long arms. He's got a shoulder right here. You could draw a circle for the shoulder. Um, and then like these tube things um, and then the back tube for, you know, the other arm. And then, you know, for the elbow right here, he's got a little pointy elbow, a little muscle right there. Okay, and uh, something fun about the raptors is he's got these like really big hands and I love these big old hands, they're so cute. Um, 
So there she is. She's got her really big and long, beautiful fingernails because she's a beautiful princess raptor. Um, unless your princess is sporty, then you can definitely give her some, you know, bigger muscles um, or ponytail if you want to. Um, but, you know, I'm just giving you what you can do. Okay, so here we have uh, her eye. Now she's a slide thing, so she'll have like, you know, a little line down the... And then she's really angry because she's a raptor and she's hungry. Yeah, so she's got to eat something. Um, and there she's got her teeth and then her little nose. But you don't have to draw in all these details yet. Now for your princess raptor, uh, we are definitely not finished uh, with her at all. Um, but, you know, we got the basics down. So here you can start actually drawing the pretty things that you want. You know, if you want her to have, like, beautiful flowing locks... You know, and that's fine, you know, if that's the kind of princess that you want. Or if you want to give her a ponytail, you know, you could always do something like that, um, which is fine too. But we're just going to stick with long, flowing, beautiful hair. And I'm going to give her some earrings. Okay, there she is. And um, I'm going to give her a beautiful dress. Now remember, she's a raptor, so she's been clawing at things and like eating nasty garbage. And that's what raptors like to eat, by the way. And uh, so she's got her pretty dress, but it's going to be frayed a little bit on the edges. Because, you know, she's been rolling around and chasing down Dr. Grant and um, she's been, like, eating Chris Pratt's face off and things like that. So you got to have, like, you know, raggedy stuff and oh, her leg is showing because she's a sassy girl. Um, and uh, so, you know, that's, that's that. And she's got rips in her clothes. Okay, I think that we pretty much got this down. If you want to add like slippers or something that are coming off or maybe like a dead body over here, you know, that's fine too. And I think that's really cute and you should definitely do whatever you want. She's also a princess, so I'm just going to, you know, put that on her head. Um, okay, so let's go over here to our new layer. We're going to make a new layer here. And, oh, isn't she gorgeous? She's so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to um, do a little bit harder stuff. We're going to actually you know, trace these lines. Oh my goodness, no wonder it was so light. The opacity is so light. Okay, so if you do 100% opacity, that means that it's going to be really thick and dark. Um, so let's go ahead on this new layer. We're going to, you know, go and just trace. That's what we're doing now. It's just tracing. One of the things I like to do whenever I'm drawing is definitely pretend as I draw because, you know, it can really get those... Um, you know, creative muscles flowing and thinking, and that's nice and everything. Um, what I like to do is I like to pretend, you know, and she's got a little smirk, yeah, because she's hungry. Um, and I like to pretend, you know, where did this, how did this princess become a raptor? You know, what was her deal? Was she sitting in her room one day reading her, you know, princess magazine, and then all of a sudden her, you know, she's thinking about her boyfriend and how handsome that he is, and she's like, oh, I really, I love my boyfriend a whole lot. Um, and then all of a sudden her hands become claws and she's like, oh no, I'm turning into a, ah, and then she doesn't longer be able to talk. She just, you know, she just growls and stuff. Anyway, um, you know, and then as she's, you know, coming up with all these ways that she can not become a raptor anymore, you know, how does she solve her problems? Um, maybe her boyfriend comes over and he's like, oh, you know, Betty, I love you because her name is Betty. And uh, he's like, Betty, I love you even if you are a raptor. And then she's like, that's so sweet. And then she eats his face off. And I just think that that's, you know, really a sweet kind of story that you can tell yourself to help you get through the hard times. Anyway, so now we're just going to go um, and finish her up on her. Oh, she's so cute. Isn't she adorable? I really like this one. You guys did a really good job on her. My goodness, it's so precious. Okay, um, and uh, so she's got her little sash here, and uh, you can draw like more rips and stuff. This is just like the basics. If you just want to like, you know, impress your friends, look at what I can do, I can draw dinosaurs. You know, that's all I'm doing. Anyway, so there's her big beautiful claw. And you could draw like, you know, little details, all that you want. These are just the things that I um, wanted to show you guys. Anyway. So we're finishing up now, and I'm not going to do coloring just yet. I think that that is something that's going to take a little bit longer. But um, if you guys request it, I could definitely do a coloring video um, and show you guys how that works. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, she's gorgeous, by the way, and you could definitely put, like, lipstick on her as she's also, you know, got... Nah, I don't really like those lipsticks, so I'm going to edit backwards. 
kind of backwards. Um, but I am gonna give her like sharp teeth. Yeah, yeah, it's coming up out of her mouth. It's so great. And then you can like have her dead boyfriend is like heads popped off. But I won't show that because that's like really gross. So don't do that, okay? But definitely just draw the, you know, the effects of it. You know, don't actually draw the headless guy. Just draw him up to his neck. Anyway, that's that's all right about it. Okay, so now we've just drawn our dinosaur. And so if you like um, go back to the background layer, you can actually, uh, you know, pick another color, um, make your brush a little bit bigger, and you can actually paint in the background a solid color. I like to go a little bit lighter and, um, you know, make the background kind of like that. Anyway, so that's how you make a princess dinosaur. Um, and that was really simple, really easy, and you guys did a really great job, and I'm really proud of you. Um, so why don't you guys, like, show me or tell me more about, you know, what you guys want to see me draw, and um, uh, I'll just uh, see you guys later. Look me up on xpwebcomic.com, and, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, now that I have my own YouTube video, and maybe just like, you know, um, just talk to me on Twitter, be my friend on Twitter. Um, on Twitter, I'm uh, XP Webcomic, um, and I'm also on Reddit as Lara XP, and I'm also on that DeviantArt thing, so I don't, I think that's also Lara XP. Um, <laughs> anyway, so thanks guys, thank you so much, and I hope that you have an awesome day, and keep staying absolutely so precious, just like this beautiful baby dinosaur. Um, and her name is Betty. Anyway, thank you guys. All right, guys, well, that's it. Thank you uh, so much for uh, viewing, watching, drawing along. Um, if you really liked my video, uh, let me know. Uh, find me on Twitter on XP, I mean, Laura XP, XP Webcomic. Yeah, Twitter is XP Webcomic at twitter.com or something. I don't know how that works. Um, but anyway, thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you want me to draw. Thank you. Bye.